Midway through my GCSEs, I discovered one technique which helped me secure three nines in all of the sciences. Let me show you exactly what I did and five ways to make it even more effective. Throughout high school, up until halfway through my GCSEs, my main way of revising would be reading my class notes and then testing it out on practice questions or end of unit assessments. The testing of it was very good. This is something called active recall. But the reading of my notes is actually a very poor technique for memorization. There's a massive misconception between recognition and memorization. And when you read, it's very passive. And this is just recognition. So you're not actually learning anything or memorizing anything. But this one technique I discovered called active recall via flashcards is a perfect way for memorizing things. Luckily, I have a natural ability to understand things pretty quickly. So the learning aspect was already taken care of and so I could move straight on to the memorization, which is why I think this worked very well for me. But I think if you don't understand something, make sure you understand it before you try this technique. So what I did in the half term break between my GCSEs is that the entire biology, chemistry and physics textbooks into flashcards and then I'd make separate piles, a pile that I got right and a pile that I got wrong. Once I'd got a question right, it would go into the right pile and wrong, respectively. And then I would redo, I'd keep going through the wrong pile until everything moved onto the right pile. Active Recall is really good because it's hard. It forces you to distinguish and think whether you actually know something or you don't. And this is why it's really good because the harder your brain works, the more likely you are to remember something. And this is why reading is not a good way of memorization because it's very passive and you're just recognizing the fact that you've read this before rather than testing if you actually already know it. I think flashcards helped me so much in topics such as chemistry, biology and physics because they really made sure you knew the one mark questions for example and you knew the exact definition for things whereas an understanding is good but if you don't know the correct wording then you don't get the marks. And this is exactly the problem which flashcards fixes. With these five tips, you'll make the best flashcards and save time when revising. And this will surely get you a nine in at least one of the sciences if you follow everything I say. So for each science or the one you particularly want to get a nine on, what you're going to want to do is get your syllabus and go through it with a red, orange and green pen. Now what you're going to do is you're going to read the syllabus objective by objective and you're going to mark each objective green, orange or red, whether you understand it fully, understand it partially or don't understand it at all. The second step is going to be using your coding and exactly what's written on the syllabus. You're going to make your flashcards focusing on the reds first, then the oranges and then the greens. This is a very time efficient way of setting up your revision because you're spending most of the times on your things you don't know rather than the things you do know, which I found myself doing a lot. The third step to making sure you get a nine in these sciences is having a separate deck of flashcards full of only six markers. I understand in GCSEs you guys have practical experiments and sometimes you just have long answer questions and you need to make sure you know these off by heart because these are definitely going to be in your exam. You know they're coming and you can easily secure six marks straight away. This is so important because when I sat my GCSEs, for example, the papers were out of 100 and all you needed was 67% to get a nine. And I'm pretty sure there were two six markers in one of my biology papers and straight away, that's almost 10% of your grade just comes from two six markers. So make sure you know these because there's a lot of marks there to be had and very easily as well. Tip number four will be when doing practice papers, make flashcards of questions you got wrong because of a lack of knowledge instead of a silly mistake. Everybody makes mistakes, but we need to identify whether the mistake is our fault because we're being silly or our fault because we didn't know. If we didn't know or we couldn't remember, this is exactly where we need to first check our understanding, make sure we understand why that's the answer, and then two, make a flashcard so we can start memorizing it, make the answers on the back of the question, 
exactly from the mark scheme so you know the exact wording that the examiners are looking for and this will guarantee you the marks nine out of ten of the time and then if the question was to come up again or very similar then you'll know the mark scheme my last tip and you guys are probably wondering i'm gonna have so many flashcards by the end of this you will but the good thing is you don't have to make them on paper and i actually advise you make them electronically using apps such as quizlet or anki these flashcard apps are really good because one you can have them on your phone and use them anywhere and two you can make them really fast and then my final favorite thing about electronic flashcards is that they usually help you differentiate which ones you get wrong more frequently and which ones you need to see more often see a great feature on quizlet for example which is the one i recommend the most is that once you go through an entire deck it will tell you questions you got wrong twice questions you got wrong once questions you never missed and those questions you never missed are the ones which you should do the least and focus on the ones you got wrong the most and this will make your revision very time efficient and you'll learn lots through studying a lot less another reason i really like quizlet is because you can actually play games on quizlet you can share your deck with friends and compete to see who can have the fastest time on the match game and i think gamification of revision like that just makes it more fun and you're actually doing work whilst competing with your friends and who doesn't like being the best in the group the beautiful thing is with your GCSEs something like four and a half months away you guys can afford to revise a little at a time and often you don't need to do this every day you just need to do it as much as your timetable says you should revise the sciences and by the time you get to your GCSEs you would have gone through all of your reds all of your oranges and then started going through your greens so little and often would definitely get there I think getting a nine in a science is very very doable especially if you're organized because if you think about it on average across all sciences you only need to get a 70 percent of the questions right so i say only 70 because in a lot of people's minds you need to be getting everything right to get the top grades and you don't even an eight is amazing and you can get even less than 70 percent right and still get an eight so I think if you guys follow these tips, there's no reason why you can't get at least one nine in the sciences, let alone three of them. So go on guys, get to work, move forward towards your goals 1% at a time. I'll see you next week.